Hello everyone, I hope you all are doing well. First of all, sorry for the delay in this video. Uh, for the past few days, my health was not in a good condition. I was not even able to speak for the past <coughs> two or three days. But currently, my situation has improved and I think now uh, I can make a new video. Now, in this video, I will focus about my physics chemistry and mathematics preparation for iit jam biotechnology exam not only for this exam uh, apart from the iit jam in gate biotechnology gate bt uh, gat b in these exams there are a portion uh, for physics chemistry and mathematics uh, and this is very important for you to prepare for these three subject also otherwise your marks will be average and you will be able to qualify the exam but that won't be enough to secure a good rank in the exam therefore these three subjects are the rank boosters which boost your rank biology may be a qualifier subject which will help you to qualify the exam in the mass scale but uh, to secure a good rank you will have you, you should have a good command on physics chemistry and mathematics <coughs> now first of all uh, uh, i will divide the video in two sections uh, firstly, I will uh, focus wha what are the major topics to cover for these exams and after that what are the resources from where you should study these topics such that uh, you can complete the whole syllabus, whole physics, chemistry and mathematics syllabus of course for the exams not for IIT JE or NEET exam for biotechnology, IIT JEM BT or GATB these kind of exams, MSc entrance exams and what are the resources I will later focus i will focus on that in the latter part of this video now firstly i will focus on physics now for physics for class 12th uh, you have to focus on electrostatics uh, electrostatics electric potential electric charge and field uh, current electricity uh, within the current electricity the major important topics are drift, velo drift velocity mobility uh, combination of resistors and combination of batteries after that, uh, uh, moving on to the magnetism, you only focus on the first part of the magnetism like calculation of magnetic field for different shapes and magnetic field and you should remember the unit of all the magnetic uh, properties and uh, the, they frequently ask question from uh, unit of different quantities, um, there might be a left right row matching these kind of questions. Uh, from uh, electromagnetic induction or latter part of the magnetism they generally don't ask much more questions but from the first part by its about law uh, ampere circuit law these are few important topics <coughs> now for uh, ray optics ray optics is a very important topic in each exam you will find at least one or two questions from the ray optics uh, you have to learn how to make the images from the distance uh, distance from the image and distance from the object the formulas lens maker formula uh, from the horizontal slab, uh, parallel slab, that formula, formula of the prism, uh, these are few important things and formula of telescope, uh, you, have, uh, you don't need to derive all that things, you just remember the formula, practice one or two questions on that topic and that would be enough. Now moving on to the wave optics, uh, you can uh, focus on the things like interference of waves, uh, constructive and destructive uh, interference, what will be the resultant amplitude, the resultant intensity and these are very important, uh, Young's double, double circuit uh, experiment, double slit ex experiment and uh, these are the things. Now for unit and dimension which is the first, first chapter in class 11th, uh, error calculation from where they frequently ask questions after that uh, motion in 1D, 2D, Newton laws of motion and friction the motion in 2D means uh, projectile motion, river boat problem, rain man problem uh, you just practice one or two and uh, two type of questions from each topic and that would be enough <coughs> after that rigid body dynamics uh, which uh, most students uh, used to live because they think this is the tough I also during class 11th that was the covid time and I have not prepared well prepared for this chapter but uh, after after completing HS exam and when I was in college uh, I I saw one short lecture and try to cover most part of this chapter because this chapter has a good weightage in all the all these competitive exams you, you don't need to complete the whole chapter you should uh, focus on major topics like 
moment of inertia, conservation of angular momentum, radius of gyration, and these things are mainly important. And after that, gravitation. From gravitation, you just remember the major formulas, and that would be gravitational force, uh, value of g. Uh, the satellite, the satellite formulas for how, what would be the speed, what would be the radius, and that things. Uh, only formula based questions they ask from gravitation. After that, mechanical properties of solid and liquid. liquid. These two chapters have has very high weightage in in these MSc entrance exams, and you only need to learn the formulas and and practice uh, one or two MCQs for based on each formula, and that would be enough. You don't need to derive anything, as I have mentioned. But for thermodynamics, thermodynamics and kinetic theory of gases, they generally many times ask conceptual questions from thermodynamics and kinetic theory of gases. Therefore, you should learn these topics uh, in detail, specifically thermodynamics. And uh, there, these in physics and chemistry, uh, both contains the thermodynamics. The basic concept, uh, basic difference is concept uh, lies in the work where compression is positive, where compression is negative. Uh, work done in the on the system is positive work done by the system is positive otherwise both parts are both topics are basically the same but uh, you should learn these things like thermodynamics and kinetic theory of uh, gases in detail after that thermal expansion you just learn one formula like value of alpha beta gamma uh, expansion of length and volume and surface area <coughs> uh, these are the major topics in physics uh, Apart from that, they generally don't ask so much questions. The topics I have mentioned, um, mentioned now are the major topics, and uh, I think all the questions would be from these topics. If you have any questions, like uh, what are the major topics to cover uh, in each chapter, uh, I have opened a Telegram channel, and you can message me there, and I will mention the topics. And if I have any short note or formula sheet, I will also provide that uh, in the channel. Now moving to the chemistry part. Uh, in class 11 chemistry, uh, first some basic concept of chemistry. Here you should learn uh, the concept of mole, uh, molarity, normality, uh, Avogadro number, V1 H1 equal to V2 H2. These kind of basic formulas that will be very important and uh, there are very much application uh, of this formula like V1 H1 equal to V2 H2 uh, in practicals, in interviews and also in the competitive exam. They ask many questions from this. Formula. Now, from uh, atomic structure, you don't need to cover the whole chapter. You just learn formulas of calculation of ionization enthalpy, uh, calculation of radius, uh, Rydberg equation, uh, de Broglie wavelength, cal wavelength calculation. And these are the major topics. And from periodic table, you just learn the trends, trends, uh, trends of radius, uh, electronegativity, electron affinity, ionization enthalpy, the uh, exception in ionization enthalpy like beryllium boron, um, <coughs> nitrogen, oxygen, and these are the important things. And uh, now chemical bonding. Chemical bonding is very important. Uh, you should learn in detail this chapter, specifically valence bond theory, BACPR, and molecular orbital theory. And the concept of hybridization that is very important. Uh, you frequently they ask from hybridization, they name a particular molecule and what kind of uh, hybridization it shows. <coughs> uh, they generally ask questions like column matching. They will ask, uh, they will give you name of two or three molecules, and they will. Uh, means in the name of hybridization sp2 sp sp3 and you have to match the column this kind of questions are generally asked <coughs> now from the gas laws uh, properties of gases uh, you have to learn the major major laws Boyle's law charles law uh, gay lussac Avogadro, and finally uh, ideal gas equation pv equal to nrt uh, otherwise they generally ask and don't ask so much question go other question and the most important thing is ionic equilibrium that is very very important uh, you have to learn concept of pH, pKa, buffer, strong and weak acid, and finally Henderson and Hassel equation. Uh, and also question, also practice many, many, many questions on these topics because this is very important. Not only from the point of view of the exam, uh, in the interviews, this is a, a ma major topic which is asked frequently. Uh, now, in organic chemistry, yeah, for class 11 organic chemistry, you can focus on topics like. Uh, IUPAC nomenclature, uh, basic nomenclature, and uh, isomerism. After that, in the reaction mechanism, you should learn SN1, SN2, E1, uh, that, is, that is very important, and hydrocarbon, specifically the conversion of alkene, alkyne, alkene, alkene, alkyne, uh, benzene ring reactions, and all the name reactions. You should specifically focus on that. And 
a Grignard reagent that is a very important part and each each in each paper they generally ask from one question at least from the Grignard reagent so uh, you you just make a make a separate sheet and mean name all the reactions and write the reactions what is the reagent and that would be very helpful and frequently revise that because uh, organic chemistry is all about revision if you don't revise uh, then you will not be able to remember those things because uh, there are also logic be behind each reaction uh, and mechanism of each reaction but if you try to learn all the mechanisms then it will going to take huge amount of time and huge amount of effort and i think uh, that won't be effective because you have to practice more questions rather focus on learning the mechanisms this is a good thing no doubt but that is for chemistry honor student and if you uh, start to learn organic chemistry like the honors uh, that is not a intelligent choice and for class 12th organic chemistry alkyl and aryl halide <coughs> that will be a very important part and uh, carboxylic acid they generally ask uh, one or two questions from that and specifically aldol reaction canizaro reaction these name reactions are specifically very important the name of the reagent uh, used in the reaction and uh, what is the product and the uh, reactant molecules uh, you should learn that and after that in the class 12 solution solution chapter first chapter uh, you should learn the concept like molarity normality the relationship between molarity normality ppm uh, and colligative properties colligative properties is very important uh, you should learn the formulas you just learn the formulas and that would be enough uh, each property and the formula for each property uh, that would be enough and next uh, electrochemistry electrochemistry is uh, important uh, specifically the calculation of uh, emf uh, they will provide you the reduction potential or oxidation potential and from that you have to calculate the emf of the cell that is very important uh, you should practice this kind of uh, mcqs one or two uh, one or two or four and that would be enough you should learn the electrochemical series also that is very helpful and chemical kinetics chemical kinetics is one of the major topics in physical chemistry they generally ask one or two questions from chemical kinetics that is this is a very easy chapter but this carries a very high weightage in the exams uh, you just remember the order of the reactions and the formula for each order like a uh, general reaction and the calculation of half life t half uh, that is important and the calculation of half life they generally ask at least one question from the calculation of half life in each each paper so these are the major topics in physics and chemistry after that in mathematics uh, they generally ask uh, three to four questions from mathematics not more than that and if you practice chapters like matrix and determinant calculus a limit and continuity integration derivation uh, in uh, in limits l hospital rule they generally ask questions on that and coordination chemistry uh, for equation different kind of equations like circle parabola hyperbola straight line and statistics and probability these are the major topics of mathematics you should cover that and i think you will get all the mathematics question from these topics <coughs> now these are the major topics which you should cover uh, <coughs> to attempt <coughs> to attempt at least 90% of the physics chemistry mathematics questions uh, which are asked in these competitive exams now coming to the materials from which you will revise that now during class 11th and 12th if you have any well written note uh, which you have read many times and uh, now if you open the notebook you will not feel that this is a new thing then you can revise from that note that would be a good choice and otherwise if you don't have any note uh, focus on the one shot video lectures now there is a separate series of lectures called mind map series i won't recommend that because they generally mention all the formulas and in the video but this is not a good choice you go towards uh, one shot lectures where uh, each of the chapter will be covered in approximately uh, two or three hours and in that video there must be at least few questions on each formula such that you you may learn the application of each formula uh, if there is only formula and no numerical then that video i don't recommend at all because that is not a good choice after that <coughs> during the preparation of biology in the first video uh, where I, I i have discussed in detail about my biology preparation i mentioned that when you revise you should not make a very detailed note because that is going to consume lots of times and you can learn most of the things from the pdf and for important topics you make a handwritten note but for physics chemistry and mathematics i will recommend you to 
make a good note uh, and revise from that note from the second time because there are lots of numericals and you have to learn the formula uh, by your choice and in your way and if you don't maintain a good note you will forget from which video lecture you learned that topics and the situation will be very bad uh, your effort will go in vain and there will be zero net gain now <coughs> therefore for making a good note that is going to take lots of time of yourself and therefore <coughs> you should start your preparation for physics chemistry and mathematics at least three to four months i will recommend four to five months before the exam otherwise uh, if you start one or two months before the exam you will uh, you will try to find uh, any shortcut and short method to learn all that things and that won't be effective i have faced the problem and that's why i am telling you that when the exams are uh, around four to five months after from that time you should start preparation for physics chemistry and mathematics now during preparation you should maintain a good notebook uh, for mcqs like you can do you, you can do two things like uh, whenever you complete a chapter and uh, watching a one shot video you are writing all the formulas and important concept in, in the notebook and after that you also complete the mcqs mcqs just after the portion where you ha you have written all the formulas otherwise you can maintain a separate notebook for the mcqs and uh, you first write the name of the particular chapter and then 10 to 20 mcqs uh, you, which are maybe the previous year questions or other practice questions and highlight the important questions like which are difficult to you because the easy questions are directly formula based and everyone will uh, will be able to solve that question but the difficult one you should remember and therefore highlight the difficult questions with a different color and that that will help you <coughs> you can maintain a save, maintain a single notebook for formula and mcq or you may you, you may prefer to make two separate notebook uh, as your wish now this was all about the preparation uh, i think i have covered all the major topics uh, i have opened a telegram channel you can join to this channel and if you have any doubt regarding your preparation you can ask me there and like uh, in any chapter uh, if you wish to learn wish to know what are the major topics to cover you can ask me there i will provide you the name of the topics which you should focus on and if i have any short note or formula sheet which i had made during my preparation i will provide i will also provide that in the channel therefore you may join the channel and that's all and if you have any question you can write in the comment section or in the telegram channel I will try to answer that as soon as possible. Now that's all. Uh, carry on. Uh, carry on your preparation. I wish you all the best. Thank you for your patience. This is a long video, I know. Uh, if you are, uh, if you are in the video till the end, uh, this, this is a great achievement for me, I believe. And thank you, thank you very much.